Hey you guys, my name is Jim Moore. I'm a sex to freshman here at the Great Thunku University. I am sorry that I do not vlog my um, college experience, my first college experience, because I have been so busy with trying to keep my grades up, trying to stay focused, trying to have the right friends, trying to have the right, correct energy around me. It just has been so much I had to do in order to stay sane at this university. Um, but I have obtained a 3.4 GPA. Congratulations to myself. I am currently a second semester freshman, of course, but I'm transferring a lot. I'm transferring a lot. I'm going to be a sophomore in the fall of 2017. So, my first semester has been kind of rocky because ugh, I had sweet mates that I didn't really like like that well and it didn't like really make it better and then like it was just it was just so much that I had to do with with school and trying to stay my trying to stay with my grades and all that but this semester has been really it has to be like hard I would say but it has been kind of difficult because the first semester it was cool it was all good I had the people good people around me I had positive energy but then towards the end of, of my first semester it became kind of like in shambles because I have I had some friends that weren't on my type of goals I had to realize that I can move from them and to, in order to do what I want to do so I had to cut some of my friends off I mean if they're real friends you shouldn't have to cut them off honestly but um my life updates what am I doing Right now, we are moving out. My roommate is now gone. He is from Miami, uh, Dade County. Not from Jasper, Florida. Um, he's major, he majored in business, or he's majoring in business, and um, I major in pre-nursing, and um, I'm excited to even uh, be here at this university. One thing I would say, if you're an incoming freshman, come from like high school or any like any county, like Dade County, Duval County, St. Petersburg, any like anywhere, when you come to college or come to any or this institution per se, have your mindset on like go like because the professors are not gonna play with you. Like in high school, it's like oh okay, I can just do it later on. No, if your assignment is due at 55 or 59 do that assignment before ahead of time please do i i really stress this to you guys like please do your work ahead of time because it could be parties on the weekends you could be like oh my god i got work to do but i'm gonna go to a party no get your work done first then you can do what you can have fun later one thing i do stress about becoming a freshman or being a freshman is sometimes you're not gonna like your roommates it's okay it's really okay because sometimes I was like, oh, I kind of roommate, oh, I kind of don't. But it's been a real like good moment or a good experience. My my college experience has been my first college experience has been um, quite well. Um, other than cutting some friends off, but when I cut friends off, I also gained some more with networking skills. I had um, friends that with chemistry degree. I had gone to tutoring. Even when I went to tutor, I gained some more. Um, colleagues, I know more people when I cut those certain amount of friends off because with not no shade, no shade. But when I was with those type of friends, I didn't branch out. I didn't have an open mind. I just let myself stay like in a in a median. I really didn't like go where I knew I could go. But when I cut them off, I was just, I branched off. I became more educated. I, I became more fluent my English. I started becoming more of a man or more of a person, period. And it has been like a really great college experience. Like, honestly, if you're a freshman, freshman girls, like for my friend, she has a great roommate. She's real cool. She's real nice. But you have to realize it's some other girls that kind of are nasty in your dorm, especially if you stay in, in phase one or phase two. It's like a sweet style, so you're going to have to get accustomed to having a sweet mate, which is two other girls on one side and two other girls on your side. And you're going to have to share a bathroom, so you're going to have to get accustomed to sharing a bathroom. Just same, same thing with boys. You're going to have to get accustomed with your sweet mates. I have myself and my roommate and two other boys on the other side. 
that cleans the bathroom when like when we have to clean the bathroom or make sure everything is uh correct or straight or things period but if you're talking to college have your mindset on the go like have your mindset on oh i'm gonna become or i want to have this in my life i want to become a better person i want to become well, everyone become like, I want to be a nurse, I want to become a registered nurse, I want to become a businesswoman, I want to become a businessman, I want to become something higher than I am right now. And with that being said, come to college, branching off. Don't have that group of friends that's always a group of friends. Because I had that and I didn't like that. I had to branch off and have more other friends that helped me through my freshman year, honestly. Because sometimes I was like, oh my god, I'm so tired, I'm so sleepy. They was like, go, let's get it, let's get it, let's go, like, let's go. But if they were not on me, I'd have been like, bruh, like, I'm so tired. Like, I'm not going to class. Like, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. And with having great friends, that's why, that's why I push more to people that are positive. People that are goal getters, like, goal getters. And that's why I push for any freshman, any person that wants to come wants to come to Bethune Cook University or FAMU or any institution stay focused from the get like stay focused because coming to college is not no joke you're this this institution is not free no institution is free you're paying for you paying like twenty three thousand a year probably at FAMU probably paying like seventeen thousand at FAM you're still in a thousand so you might have to take out some loans, some Pell Grants, you never know. So I have to really stress being focused and really being on your stuff because you're paying for education. This education is not free anymore. Like you're paying for this. Your parents are paying for this. So it's like, if you fail a course, you're not paying for that. Your parents are paying for that. They're, they're paying for you to retake that course when you know you can pass the first time. But I really, I feel as though I am I feel like I'm in a great mindset because when I first came here, I was like, I want to get it. I want to go. I want to be a nurse. I want to be a registered nurse. I want to be bigger than who I am or who I was when I first got here. And I feel as though I grew up more because when I was in high school, I was kind of like, sorry, I was kind of like shy. I was kind of like, even though I was a cheerleader, I still was shy. I still I had my little bubble. I didn't really like go out. I still don't go out here because my nursing, nursing field is kind of like hard. So I'm really trying to stay in my field and in my studies. Um, but I feel like I grew more from 12th grade to now because 12th grade I used to be like, oh, let's have fun. Let's get turned up. Let's go. Let's like be turned up. Like forget the work. I don't care. We'll turn it in later on. It doesn't matter. The teacher go let us turn it in later on. But college is like, your work doing at the five. You you do that before 11:55. Cause you do it if you do it 11:40 and you know you take it, it's gonna take you a little minute to do that work. That thing will close on you. Even even if you like literally send it in like 11:55, it will close on you. When it hit from 11:54 to 11:55, it will close on you. You will not be like, oh, let me run my professor real quick. Oh, let me test my professor real quick. It's not going to work because professors do not care. Professors are here for a reason. Professors are trying to train you and try to instill that in your mindset. Time management is the biggest thing in the world. Time management is, if you go to college, at least learn time management. Time management is like the biggest thing because you can't go to college like, oh, well, I'm going to I'm gonna have a party right here and then I'm just going to forget about the work and just do it later. No. You need to do your work right now. Do all your work you have to do through the whole week. Or do your work two weeks ahead of time. I, I personally do my work two weeks ahead of time because I know how I am as a person. Like, if I do my work two weeks ahead of time, I'm going to, like, kind of push back the work even more than I do it, like, a week of time. Because if I do it two weeks, of time, two weeks ahead of time, it kind of, I don't know how to say this, it kind of helps me, like, relax. I don't have to be stressed anymore. I don't have to focus on anything else I can focus on myself and my friends and having fun or having my college experience like on parties so it's like yeah yeah if you go to college please 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 I stress this to you if, I don't, if, if you don't learn anything else time management is the best thing you will learn in college because if you do not learn this in college you will not succeed I'm, I do apologize you will not succeed I'm so sorry but you will not succeed in college at all one thing I also stress to you guys are is um, t 
to gain networking skills. Networking skills, you can go so far with networking skills. You can go so far. Dang, I can't remember, I can't remember my don'ts. Well, okay, I'm done my don'ts. Cause that's the main things you need to know in college. Do study. Do go to tutoring. Do um, create a tutoring, a study group. Because that little bunch of friends, you think, oh, I can just pass with them and cheat with them. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. If you create a study group, it builds your it builds your thoughts in the class. It builds your mindset in the class because you're studying the material. You will pass the course if you study. If you go to tutoring, tutoring I wouldn't say it's mandatory, but it's mandatory for me. Like with tutoring, I go to tutoring every night at seven thirty for chemistry or college algebra. But I'm done with the course. I'm done with the courses. But for chemistry or college algebra. I go to that every time at 7 30 and get out at 9 o'clock. Tutoring is the best thing they have at Bethune Cook University. I'm trying to tell you, tutoring literally helps. Like, if you like go to Bethune Cook University, you better go to that tutoring. Because tutoring, you be like, oh, I understand this in Dr. Wilson class. Or I don't understand this in college algebra. Or I don't understand this here and there. Or English, I'm not getting A's on papers because I did not supposed to do this on my paper. Go to tutoring. Tutoring will always help you. That's I recommend that as well. Like, do go to tutoring. Do study. Because if you do not, it's, it's, you're not going to understand the material. You're really not. Because some professors really go real fast. Like, my professor for... My professor for um, chemistry, she went real, real fast. I was like, oh my God, I can't get it, I can't get it, I can't get it, I can't get it. So I was like, I was like let's go to tutoring, go to tutoring. So I went to tutoring for the first time. I was like, okay, well, I, can, I get it more. And every time I went to tutoring more, it just helped me gain more stuff I didn't know. And it also helped me stay ahead of the class instead of like, oh, I'm in the bag. I'm like kind of unfocused. I don't know what's going on. So I do recommend tutoring. Tutoring is one thing you do go to. Mandatory. Mandatory. Um, one thing I would say about college is it is very, I'm going to say hard, but it's very difficult because you don't have lenient, lean, uh, lenient uh, professors on you, like with you. Like some lenient professors be like, oh, okay, we get it done later on. Okay, no. So a lot of, a lot of professors don't do that. So it's like you have to be, you have to choose what you want to do, honestly. But um, other than that, my life update is um, first semester I have 3.4. This semester I really don't know because I have a C in uh, chemistry, but it went from a, whatever grade I had, with, whatever grade I had to like a C. So I'm fine with that. Um, I, have, I had a 3.4 last semester. Hopefully, it'll raise me up to like a 3.5, 3.6. Hopefully, a 3.7. Um, God's willing, a 3.7. But if I'm in the 3.0s and above, I'm real, I'm good. I'm good. Like I do not care. I'm good. But my first, my freshman year has been very um, difficult sometimes. Um, but it, it's been very fun. It's been very. Exciting! I've learned a lot of stuff. I met new people. I met people from Dayton County. I met people from St. Petersburg. I met people from um, Atlanta. I met people from Jacksonville. I didn't even know. And I just learned different stuff. So with you going to college, it's like you really pushing the pen. So you really pushing the pen instead of like a high school. Like, okay, I might wake up to go to class this time. No, go to class. Go to class for real. Cause you never know. Pop quiz right there. You never know. So I really stress, like, I really stress that a lot, like, a lot. But other than that, I had a great experience at Bethune University. Um, I will, I am returning um, as a sophomore. Um, so hopefully my sophomore year is kind of like easier, which I doubt it's gonna be easier because it get harder every time you go up. Um, and then after that, I'm applying to. Um, the nursing program, I'm applying to BCU nursing program, I'm applying to FAMU nursing program, I'm applying to FAU nursing program, I'm applying to Daytona um, State nursing program. So I'm applying to different nursing programs, just not at Bethune University because it's like some other universities that are different, so you never know. But um, that's my life update, and hope you guys enjoyed this video and give me a thumbs up with comments, likes, and subscribe to me, you guys. So